a chaotic start to presidential elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo. After waiting almost three hours, hundreds of angry voters tried to force their way into a polling center in the capital city, Kinshasa. Many had arrived very early to avoid the long queues. Some said they were supposed to be inside monitoring the whole thing. Regardless of who wins, however, the next few weeks promised to be tense in the DRC. The country has only ever had one peaceful transfer of power since it gained independence from Belgium in 1960. We've stood here for so long. We are local observers and should be inside the polling station monitoring the process. But they've asked us to wait here. I don't know what is going on. Nearly 44 million people were registered to vote. But the delay has raised fears among some of the opposition candidates that many people will not be able to cast their ballots after polls close. We want all 71,000 something polling station. Each of them has to open and receive voters so they can vote. If we don't have all of them, we don't consider these elections. The DRC's election is being held amidst rising inflation. The Electoral Commission has faced many challenges in organizing this poll. The biggest was getting electoral materials to the thousands of polling stations in remote areas. But even in the capital, Kinshasa, the home of the government, voting machines and ballot papers... People want to vote. They have expectations at the end of this day. And I just believe that the Electoral Commission will activate uh, all that is needed so that the Congolese people can vote properly in peace. Once the country's constitutional court has dealt with any electoral challenges, and Dennis Mukwege, with no runoff planned, the new president is expected to be inaugurated next month. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN. Kinshasa.